Hello, my name is Lilia, and I trade options full time, and I teach options trading part time. Today, we're going to look at my gold vertical put spread, which was placed on November 26, 2014. This is just a quick lesson that's designed for traders who already have some experience with options. If you're new to options trading, please start with my beginning lessons at youtube.com user money and Lilia. In this video, I'm going to show you a different way to trade credit put spreads. I'm going to show you how to make money in both directions, both bearish and bullish, by breaking apart the vertical spread. In a normal credit put spread, your profit is the initial credit that you receive. However, you can make a little extra money by selling the long put if the underlying goes down. Once you close your long put, you will have a naked put left over. If the underlying recovers and goes back up above your short strike, you can then let your naked put expire. However, if your naked put is in the money near expiration, you will have to roll it and collect another credit. Here's my trade that was placed on November 26, 2014. And by the way, today's actual date is December 1st, 2014. So this is a trade that I placed recently. It's a trade on GLD, which is the gold ETF. I sold to open 1 December 2014, 113 put and I received $1.35. At the same time, I purchased one December 111 put, and I paid 84 cents. The net credit on this spread was 51 cents, or $51 total. Let's look at a chart for gold back on December, oh I'm sorry, back on November 26. When I'm trading options, I always look at a one-year chart to figure out the best time to enter or exit a position. So here's a one-year chart for GLD from November 26, 2013 until November 26, 2014. This is a one-year chart. On the day that I place this trade, this is exactly what I was looking at. What I saw was a recovery on gold. GLD hit a low of 109 back in early November, and it has gone up pretty much nonstop ever since. By November 26, GLD appeared to be topping out right in this region, just a little below the 50-day moving average. So this looks like it was the resistance. And I also look at the slow stochastics. This chart indicates when a stock is overbought or oversold. Back on November 26, 2014, GLD was in the overbought region. So when I place this trade, 
I was speculating that there was a chance that GLD could go back down in the near future. And then when it comes back down, there's probably a chance it'll rise back up. So when I placed this trade, my goals were I wanted to make money in both directions. If GLD drops immediately, my long put will be profitable and then I can sell it and take my profits. Then I will have a naked put left over which I will continue to hold until expiration. As long as GLD stays above my short strike of 113 between now and expiration Friday, my short put will decay and I can let it expire. So what has happened so far? On November 28, 2014, just two days after my initial trade, GLD dropped and my long put was profitable. So I went ahead and closed it and received a credit of $2.10. Once I closed my long put, I have a naked put left over. So my plan at this point is to hold the naked put until no, uh, December expiration. So here is the math so far. 84 cents was the purchase price of the long put. I sold it at $2.10. So my profit on the long put alone was $1.26 or $126 total. By selling to close the long put, I've locked in a profit of $126. And then, if my short put expires worthless in December, I will make another $51. This was the initial credit on the put spread. So if gold stays above 113 by December expiration, my total profit will be the $126 that I made when I sold my long put and then the $51 initial credit that I received Add these together, the total profit will be 177. It's a good thing that I sold my long put last Friday because today, December 1st, GLD jumped nearly 4% and the December 111 put dropped from $2.10 all the way back down to $0.66. Cents. So if I had not sold my put last Friday, I would have missed out on this opportunity. So the key here is when you're trading options, take your profits. Take your profits because you never know what's going to happen. Here I'm showing you the actual trades in my TD Ameritrade account. Here's my initial trade on November 26, 2014. This was done as a vertical put spread. 
I bought the long put, paid 34 cents, and I sold a short put and received $1.35. This gave me a net credit of 51 cents initially. On November 28, two days later, I sold to close my long put at 210 and received $208. This is after commissions. So as you can see here, this credit minus this debit is my profit so far on the long put, which was about $126 minus commissions. Here's the same chart for GLD, and I've advanced it now to November 28, 2014. And as you can see here, on November 28, GLD actually gapped down. When I first placed my trade, GLD was up here, just below the moving average. Two days later, GLD gapped down, and my long put had a profit. And so when I see something like this, I always, always go ahead and take my profits because you never know what's going to happen. And that's the date that I closed my trade. I sold to close my long put. And now, here's a chart of GLD again and it's displaying the price chart for December 1st, 2014, and that is today's date, today's actual date. And as you can see, today gold jumped 4% on the upside, which is pretty amazing. It gapped down on Friday, and today is Monday. Today, it jumped 4%. So, if I had not closed my long put last Friday, I would have missed out on all those profits. Because when the underlying goes up, put prices go down. Okay, so always, always take your profits. I'm now using a really neat feature in Thinkorswim called On Demand. And this allows me to essentially go back in time and pretend that today was November 26, 2014, which was the date that I placed my initial trade. So now you can see exactly what I was looking at on that date. So to place a vertical put spread, you need to change this right here from single to vertical and come over here on the right hand side and just kind of randomly select one of these combinations. Okay, so I did one contract, and the default in Think or Swim is 10. So make sure that you change this to match the quantities that you want to trade. I did one. December options, and the one that I sold was a 113 put, and the one that I purchased was the 111. So as you can see here, this spread was worth about 51 cents at the time that I placed the trade. So I'm going to confirm and send, and I'm going to go ahead and this. And it filled. So if I go back to monitor, I can see that my order filled for exactly my price, about 51.52 cents, okay? In my real account, I received 51 cents, but this is close enough. So now here's my position. So now I'm gonna jump over to November 28, which was the date that I closed the trade.
So now we are looking at November 28, 2014, around 9.55 a.m. Pacific time. So here is my vertical put spread. And what I can see here is my long put is profitable. So I'm going to close the long put only by clicking on the blue dot and I'm going to create a closing order for that leg only. I'm going to sell to close and I'm going to try to collect the mid price which is around 217 at the moment. Well, it's certainly changing, so I'm going to aim for this price. Uh, 210, 211 or so, confirm and send. Okay, so that one just filled. And if I go back to monitor, I can see that my order has filled. So to close the long put, and in my virtual account, I received $2.13. In my real account, I actually collected $2.10. So as you can see, what I have left over now is one contract of my naked put. Notice here that my naked option has a loss but you don't really need to worry about it because there's still 21 days remaining in this trade. And if your options are in the money, you need to find out exactly how much extrinsic value is left over on the option. If the extrinsic value is still relatively high, you're not at risk of early assignment. So go back to the trade tab and change this back to single and change this to intrinsic extrinsic and come over here and find your position so I have a 113 naked put left over and if you look at this column it shows that this put still has over two dollars of extrinsic value remaining. Two dollars is a lot of money and so therefore even though this put option is currently in the money I'm not at risk of early assignment. So I can leave this open and hope that by December expiration GLD is going to close above 113 and then I get to keep my original credit as well. Now we're looking at Thinkorswim for Monday, December 1st, 2014. And as you can see here, here GLD rose almost 4% today, which is a big, big jump and my remaining 113 short put is now safely out of the money. This option still has about a 30% chance of expiring in the money, which means that at this point I have a 70% chance of success. There's still a 70% chance that this option can expire out of the money. So I'm going to keep an eye on this option and try to buy it back at about five cents or so if I can. There are 18 days remaining in this option so I'm just going to keep an eye on it and see how it goes. Please note that breaking apart 
a credit put spread like I did here means that you will need to have quite a bit of cash or margin to support the naked put. Thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you will be automatically notified each time I upload a new lesson.